God will always want order. The devil will always want chaos. Destruction, misery, confusion. And you see this playing out today in society, right? You see this playing out. You see this going on with the people who are at the top, our so-called leaders. You see this with people in Hollywood. You see this with musicians, even some professional athletes, right? Celebrities. You can see the ones who are pushing order versus ones pushing chaos. Okay, and anybody who pushes chaos, by the way, divisiveness, mental illness, obesity, self-destruction is doing the work of the devil, right? Whether you believe or not, by the way, right? If you're a non-believer watching this, try to stay with me on this. I mean, on a spiritual level, you can see what they're pushing is bad, right? It's not good for you. It is bad. It is evil, even borderline satanic. I, and uh, I had just mentioned in a previous coaching video that I was watching some of these pop stars. I think it was like Miley or one of them, right? It was on... They're all looking the same to me these days, but they were, she was on stage putting on a concert, putting on performance to her audience, which was mostly made up of nine, 10, 11 year old girls. She got on stage half naked, wearing a rubber dildo, singing her song. It's like, why are you doing this? FYI. Like, why is this necessary? Why, how is this appropriate? Right? Shame on the parents, by the way. I don't really blame I do blame her, but I mean, shame on the parents for allowing their child to go to this concert. I mean, shame on them. I mean, I would be suing. I mean, but uh, it's just a microcosm of what's going on in society now. All right? Some of these politicians who get up on stage, even our own president got up on stage and literally said half the country who doesn't support him, doesn't vote for him, is now a, you know, the biggest threat to our democracy which we're not by the way we're a republic that that's another thing is like all these folks on um on the television saying that oh threat to our democracy threat to our democracy when we are never ever meant to be a democracy because essentially democracy is tyranny right democracy is mob rule what you want is a republic that's what we were always founded to be fyi it was a republic that's what the founding fathers wanted this is why they never mentioned the word democracy a single time in the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, uh, even the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Not and to the democracy, no, and to the republic. They were very clear they did not want this to be a democracy because that is what leads to anarchy. And you see that happening, right? I mean, you see a lot of this chaos, a lot of this divisiveness, and a lot of the confusion, especially with children today, right? They're being confused. Imagine being a child growing up today in school. I mean, imagine going back. Put yourself back for a second, guys. Remember when you were like six, seven years old, your first grade, second grade, right? Maybe even kindergarten. And you, your, your main focus at that age was just like making friends, being liked, exploring this new world that you just came into you're finally out of your parents house and you know for half the day and you're in this like little bubble called a classroom with other snotty little brats just like yourself and you know you're just kind of mesmerized by this right and you're just kind of like trying to soak this in and you're just trying to figure things out i mean thing i mean life is just a little bewildering and overwhelming at times as it is as just a, a small child of six or seven years old. But yet on top of this, you have these teachers who you're supposed to trust who are telling you that, oh, see that girl next to you with the long hair? She, that, that she can also be a male. She can also be a, a, a boy. You just, even though she looks like a girl and see that boy sitting next to you with a short haircut, he can also be her. 
he can actually become her just by claiming he's her, a claiming he's a female. I mean, imagine this nonsense, like the confusion you would have. You would be so confused. I, I would not be surprised. I hope this doesn't happen, but I would not be surprised if a lot of these kids grow up to become axe murderers or walk into a McDonald's with an Uzi one day because they are so confused. They've been so mentally molested to believe something that... They should never be taught at that age, right? That most adults would not want to be taught, period, right? Most adults couldn't handle that. So why are you teaching this to this innocent child who is just trying to enjoy being a child, which you're only going to have once in your life? And for many of us adults, that, you know, whenever we're feeling down, whenever we're feeling a little sad, what do we start to think of in our minds? Where do we go? We go back to our childhood, don't we? We go back to like, you know, assuming you had a good childhood or, or a decent childhood, or even if you didn't, you have probably have memories of some good times in your childhood and you go back to those, you revert to that and you're like, oh, okay, that was cool. You know, you just kind of like remember and you kind of feel a little bit better. You're like, ah, that was great. It would be, it would, be, I, I miss that, right? You kind of think about like, oh man, I miss that. That was a good time. Whereas these, you know, and we can do that as adults because we were not being uh, indoctrinated, you know, as like five, six-year-old children. Whereas today's kids are, right? They are. And when they grow up to become adults and they need to escape reality for a bit and just all the nonsense out there and uh, they're going to try to like look back on their childhood, they're not going to have great memories. They're going to be like, man, I was told that my best dude friend could be a chick i was tell that my this girl that i had a crush on in second grade that she could be a dude um what does that make me you know i mean you're they're just gonna be so confused right because again the devil is the author of confusion and chaos right um, but that is in the bible author of confusion is always going to be satan he wants you confused he wants you sad he wants you miserable doesn't want you happy he wants you angry. He wants you hostile. I mean, if you ever go on YouTube and you watch some of these like leftist freakout videos and even when like they're being interviewed and they just want to like the interviewer just wants to have a conversation, just wants to talk to them, just wants to know why they think that or whatever. They are shouting them down. They are freaking out. They are trying to grab the microphone. They're trying to destroy the camera. They're... Um, they're trying to like spray that person with something. I mean, they're just so like the anger, the violence, the, you know, the hostility that they have inside of them. You know, where's that coming from? It's coming from daddy Satan, right? <laughs> it's coming from the yo, daddy Satan. Um, that's not coming from God because God wants peace. God wants order. God wants civility. Okay. God wants you to be happy. God doesn't want you feeling sadness or misery. He wants you to feel happy, fulfilled. He wants you to embrace who you are. He wants you to embrace the body he gave you, the life he gave you, the face he gave you. You know, he wants you to love yourself, right? And this is why I, you know, I kind of trip out when some of these chicks like who claim to, you know, be Christian and love God and all this, they go and do like plastic surgery and do the big lips and they, you know, they like, collagen in their foreheads and all this other stuff <laughs> that it's like okay you have to accept what god gave you right but on a deeper level these people like changing their gender changing all this and now and you know and i get the fact that there is such thing as a gender dysphoria with a very 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 statistically a very small portion of the population i think the last fair evaluation that I looked at that was probably maybe 15 years old, 20 years old before the wokeness started enter society, um, it was like point like point zero 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 one percent of the population were identifying as like, hey, I, I, I was born in a woman's body, but I feel like a man. Or I was born in a man's body, I feel like a woman. Um, you know, and from my point of view those people need like psychiatric care before anything else they need to talk to uh, uh, a psychologist a mental prof health professional before they talk to a surgeon 
right? The first step should be a mental health professional and not a surgeon, right? That should be the absolute last resort. You know, besides finding God, besides finding religion, some, some, besides finding faith, right? Because even religion's gotten a bad name because of the people who've molested it, right? But faith, right? Faith. And that's even when it comes to religion, it's been kind of given a bad name just because of all the uh, mainstream media, which is, you know, powered by Satan, um, telling people that, you know, religion's bad, bad, bad. But I mean, somebody just praying in their home quietly with a rosary is not bad. I mean, that could be considered religion, right? So, and I mean, even statistically, like overwhelmingly, most churches are pretty safe and there's only a very small percentage. I think it's like 1% that uh, have had issues, right? Or some kind of scandal. But regardless, not to get off that topic, um, not to get off topic, God doesn't want you to be confused. He wants you to love who you are. He wants you to love the body he gave you, the physicality he gave you, and the life he gave you, right? And just be appreciative. Just be grateful, right? Just be thankful. Even when I was broke and I didn't have a pot to piss in, I was just grateful that I was alive. I was grateful I have two hands, two feet, two eyeballs I could see. I'm not handicapped or disabled. I was just grateful, right? Doesn't mean I'm perfect, right? I mean, I struggle with certain things, but I'm grateful and I'm thankful that hey, I'm here and uh, I'm just going to make the most of it. I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is and just going to try to do good out there and try to uh, be a positive influence and add value to other people's lives and that makes me feel good and just be the best that I can, right? And do the best that I can. Am I, am I six feet tall, Chad looking and, you know, um, you know, have the world at my fingertips? No. Right, but I've done well for myself. I'm financially successful. I can't complain. I got two dogs who love me to death. Got a beautiful girlfriend. I'm here in Tahoe, right, enjoying this amazing scenery. I can't complain. But even when I didn't have all this, I was still happy. I was like, you know, I'm just glad to be alive. And I still am. I'm still grateful and I'm still very thankful. Whereas you see a lot of the people that we're just talking about who are confused, who, uh, who hate who they are, who hate the world they live in, who hate their lives, who hate everyone else, who are living with constant anger. I mean, I really wish those people would ask themselves, like, do I want to continue living like this? Right? Because at that point, you're not living, you are just existing, right? You're not living, you are just existing. And for me, for my followers, for you guys, I don't want you to just exist. I want you to live. I want you to enjoy life. I want you to embrace life. I want you to grab life by the balls and make the most of it. I want you to stake your claim out there. Hey, I want you to stop making excuses. I want you to stop playing victim. I want you to just do the best you can with what you are given. Okay, with what you have. I'm sorry you're not six foot tall. I'm sorry you don't look like a Chad. I don't either. I'm not six feet, right? But I just do the best I can. Right? Have I gotten bummed out when a, a chick has chosen, uh, you know, the six foot four male model over me? Of course, but you know what? It is what it is, and I just move on to the next. Right? Just keep rolling with the punches, as uh, Rocky Balboa once said. You just got to roll with the punches. That's how you got to do it. That's how life is played. Right? Uh, essentially, at the end of the day, you have to love what God gave you because God will always want order and happiness in your life, where the devil will always want chaos and confusion in your life. Anger, hatred, misery, sadness, depression. That's what the devil wants. God wants you to be happy, wants you to feel fulfilled, wants you to be excited about life, wants you to be excited about tomorrow, the future, and just wants you to be a good person. Okay? At the end of the day, that's what... That's what God wants, right? And then whenever you see these talking heads on TV, in the, on the Matrix media or the establishment, which is all, also part of the Matrix, right? Pushing these ideas of that you could be fat, obese, and people should accept you. Body positivity. Or, oh, you're, if you're born a guy, you don't have to be a guy. You could be a chick. If you're a chick, you could be a dude. And that was also something that was alarming about the statistic I just told you about, like people with gender dysphoria. Um, it was like 0.0001% um, like in 2001 or 2002. 
Now fast forward to 2022 because the matrix uh, the, has been pushing this, essentially doing the work of the devil. They've been pushing this onto kids and children and society so much. Now it's like skyrocketed to not double, not triple, not quadruple, but like 13 times the amount. So kids now growing up, I think it's something astonishing. We're like almost at 15% of kids today are not sure about their gender. They're not sure if they want to be, they want to stay a boy if they're a boy, or stay a girl if they're a girl. They're confused about their sexuality. They're confused if they should like a boy if they're a girl, or like a girl if they're a boy. Right? They're totally confused. Right? Even just saying that, it just almost was like a tongue twister. I think I said it wrong, but either way, I mean, they are confused. Right? A lot of people out there are confused, even adults. They're confused. They don't know what to believe. They don't know what to say. Their thoughts are being controlled. Oh, I don't know if I could say this anymore. It's been canceled. You know, oh, I don't think this is the popular thing anymore, the current thing. I should, you know, I, I should just go along with what everyone else is doing uh, instead of just trusting your gut, what is right, what is pure, what is wholesome, what is good. Right? Instead, they're trusting what is bad, what is wrong, what is immoral, and what is evil. Because at the end of the day, the devil wants chaos and confusion and anger. Right? God wants order, happiness, fulfillment. <sighs> Drop your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Um, anything that you would like to add yourself if you're a person of faith, Drop them in the comments below. If, you, if you're a non-believer, if you don't have faith, that's okay. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. If you gain value out of it, that's the most important thing, regardless of what your faith is, your denomination, your religion. Um, if you got value out of tonight's coaching video, if, if you feel me, if you understand, if you're, if you're in line with what I'm saying, that's all that matters. Drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. And also, smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. And uh, as always, if you love what I'm doing, if you love what I'm teaching you guys, best way to support me is jump into my premium, my premium Alpha Male Secrets program. Right now, it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. Okay, it's brilliant. It's uh, if I don't, if you don't mind me saying so myself. And uh, I do not feature those uh, premium Alpha Male Secrets videos here on my channel. You have to be. Uh, part of my premium alpha male secrets channel, which is only a buck for their entire first month of premium alpha male secrets coaching lessons from me. So click the link below. It will take you over my website where you could take advantage of that one dollar offer right now. It just takes two seconds, so do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out. Until next time, say good night to Cash and Gizmo, and uh, Nevada behind me. Up by Tahoe.